Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is Dr. Lynn Daniel. Lynn Daniel, PhD, EDS. I am the self-care evangelist. I am active here on LinkedIn, sharing information about self-care. How are you all doing? I'm glad you're here. This is an impromptu live meeting or recording that I am making today. Friday, October 14th, the last day of my fall break. And then Monday is back to work. So today I want to talk to you all and just kind of break down, analyze the international self-care matrix. I found this information to be right on target, especially for those of us who are looking closely at self-care. And uh, I'm going to share that matrix right here on the screen. So let's take a look at it. All right. Okay, so if you follow me on LinkedIn, you will see that I shared this matrix yesterday. And notice that it has the three rows, micro, meso, macro. But then embedded in those three rows, you will see that there are four categories or areas that need attending to. I call them levels because they seem to be um, moving from lower level one up to level four. So in the micro category, level one, we're looking at what we do ourselves, care that is centered on the person, your individual abilities to take care of yourself. What do you know how to do? What can you learn to do? And you'll see those seven pillars that I presented earlier in the week on Tuesday at my live. The seven pillars fall in this category of micro, the person-centered care. I think these seven pillars are right on target. Knowledge and health literacy. We should be reading and learning as much as we can about self-care. Mental well-being. We should be identifying what our needs are and taking care of those needs. Physical activity, moving our bodies, stretching, healthy living, eating right having proper self-care routines, interactions that are healthy for us. So many risk avoidance, so many things fall in that category. Someone even told me, do you know that wearing a helmet when you ride your bicycle can be considered risk avoidance? Okay, all right. Then good hygiene, having your personal hygiene, your cleanliness of your living quarters, in your workspace, and then remaining, um, like being careful with your self-care practices, taking your medications, and that type of thing. Mezzo is looking at the person, your motivation and activation to change. But look, it's divided into the two levels. You have the self-care behaviors and the self-care context. And the resource utilization. When we begin to look into what is available for us and we use those resources for our daily care, for our lifestyle changes, changes, it just really helps us to lay out an action, you know, um, managing our ailments, recognizing our minor and major ailments, and then addressing those, those long-term um, care needs, contradictions and conditions, um, acute conditions, compulsory care, and then major traumas. It's important for us to acknowledge what those are for ourselves, attend to them, and get the proper help that we need. So those are the two levels, self-care behaviors level two, self-care context level three, and they both are in the meso um, category of the self-care matrix. And then the macro level four, the system focus, looking at policy, looking at the culture, looking at um, the wider determinants of healthcare, looking at health policy, 
fiscal policy, the cultures of the community, of the individual household, of even the city, the state, the country itself. So I just wanted to share this with you all and just kind of explain it a little bit. I will be continuing to research to gain fuller understanding of the self-care matrix. And I plan to come back and share with you all what I discover. So thank you all for being here for this quick drop-in. I'm Dr. Lynn Daniel, Lynn Daniel, PhD, EDS. This information that I share with you is for educational purposes. I am not a medical professional. It is for you to gain understanding of actions you can take to improve the quality of your life. If you want to learn more about me, please check out my two books on Amazon, Trash Can, Why You Stop Being a Receptacle for Toxic People's Waste, and You're Not Garbage, Why You Need to Overcome Adverse Childhood Experiences and How to Do It. You can also uh, find me on Facebook in my doctoral aftercare and healing group. And here on LinkedIn, I'm very active on YouTube with my Lynn Daniel channel. All right, you all, be blessed. Have a great day. See ya. Bye.